Hello people. Now this is going to be an absolutely amazing video showing you how you can get infinite traffic to your website just by utilizing a few free tools. Now I'm using ChatGPT. I do advise using ChatGPT4 which is the paid for version because it's going to create better content but for the purpose of this video we're going to use everything for free. I'm utilizing Webflow which is a great all-in-one uh, website developer but you can apply this same process to any type of website builder be it code, WordPress, Wix, anything that you want. Now, the benefit of this is it's gonna free up your workflow so that you can focus on what matters and that's uh, growing your business. Now, if you're anything like me, I haven't got time to write articles upon articles and the techniques that I've seen people using for ChatGBT just haven't been good enough to create content that is obviously human created. And it's uh, it can be seen if you read it, it looks like it's AI. So this process, it takes a little bit longer, no more than 15 minutes, and it's gonna show you how to create really um, SEO optimized blogs that are a lot longer than what if you were to just put in one single prompt and ask ChatGPT to create one article. Now, what I'm gonna show you is actually one of the articles that I built a few months ago, and this is using a even worse technique. Um, if we just come over to uh, my computer, I'll show you here, this is the article. Now, I've updated the technique since then, so the, the new blogs are gonna do even better. But as you can see, very short, sweet, took me no more than 15 minutes to create. And if we go over to the performance of my website on Google Search Console, if we go down to performance by pages, we can see that this article is performing better even than my own homepage. It's getting 130 clicks, 5,000 impressions. And if we look at the position of this, it is just ramping up in terms of impressions and clicks. And this is something that took me 15 minutes to make. Imagine if you create one to 200 websites uh, sorry, not websites, blogs on your website. If you're selling a product, if you're selling a service, or if you're doing this for a client, you're just gonna get an influx of clientele or sales. And obviously what we wanna do is make as much wealth so that we can provide for ourselves and our family and have a business that is booming. So there you go, this technique definitely does work. The proof is in the pudding. Now let's actually show you the cheat sheet. Now the cheat sheet over here, you can get if you just click the link within the description below. Now this has taken me a few weeks to develop and test. Uh, like I said, it works much better if you're using the paid for G ChatGPT4, but you can use this with the free version. Let me show you the structure of this. So first and foremost, we have the tools that you need for this. ChatGPT uh, is obviously necessary. Some other tools obviously that aren't necessary, you can use your own. It's Webflow, Midjourney, and Discord, uh, because I'm gonna show you how to create some really cool image for your blog as well. Now the first, uh, what we're gonna say to the structure of this is it's broken down into prompts. So the first one is the heading prompt. We're gonna ask ChatGPT to create a list of headings, a load of keywords, and all of the key, uh, sort of keyword structures that it needs to create the next thing, which is the blog outline. So here we've got the blog outline. Again, you can change the size of this by if you go into the additional information in the third column, you've got the prompts. I've asked it to say, use a minimum of three section, including an introduction and conclusion, have a minimum of four points under each section. You can change these numbers, create bigger uh, blogs or smaller ones. I'm creating a small blog for today just so that we can keep things quick and efficient. The next step is the introduction prompt. This is basically uh, going to create an introduction with a good summary and a bulleted list of what is in the blog. And then this is the most important one. This is for each section, so subheading of the blog. So with, when, we, when we get to it, you'll see that the outline has subheadings. What we wanna do is replace this top heading here with each subheading and copy the content in. Now the orange sections symbolize content that you will need to change. Now, of course, you can uh, change the basic prompts because there's such things as writing tone. So for me personally, I want ChatGPT to write in a short suite in SEO optimized, easy readability and rank number one in Google type of way. I've tested out a few different uh, versions of this, but this just works for me. But the minimum basis that you need to change is uh, within the orange. So of course, in the blog section, I'm just reminding it what company I am, what I'm doing, I am in the design specter, so that it obviously tells, writes the blog for my audience. The next section is a blog FAQ, which we will show 
it's a brilliant piece of SEO to have in your blog and you'll see when we get to it. And then the last one is the blog conclusion with again a prompt that you need to edit that's gonna ask for your CTA, your call to action. I've asked it to obviously ask the reader to email me, but you can have this as a sign up newsletter, whatever you want. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So the first step, let's, uh, obviously you wanna update these, uh, what your business is, you wanna write the blog summary of what you wanna write it about, you wanna write your audience, who you're writing it for, and then add some keywords just to give it the idea of what you want the article to be about. Now, of course, you can use SEMrush, Ahrefs, and loads of SEO tools uh, to do this, but if you don't have any of that, you don't need it, because we're gonna use ChatGPT, basically, to do all this for us. Now we've written this in here, you're gonna see it's got the blog headings, it's picked five for us, it's got target keywords, LSI keywords, long tail keywords, and keyword synonyms. Why I've asked it to do this is because the rest of the content, ChatGPT, is gonna remember the information and it's gonna rebrief itself every time I prompt it to ensure that it's utilizing all of these keywords uh, to remain SEO optimized. Now, of course, you can select the heading and edit it, but for speed, I'm just gonna ask ChatGPT to pick the best one that it likes and now create an outline for the blog. Now I've seen people uh, just ask for normal outlines and it's, it creates a very short uh, structure for it, but I've actually told it I wanna have multiple bullet points and talking points under each section. So you can see here, section one, what is ChatGBT? It's given three bullet points and then points to talk about. And then it's obviously given multiple sections along with a conclusion with points to talk about. Now, the next section we wanna to get to is the introduction prompt. We don't need to add anything in here. This is separate because um, we want to write this in a slightly different way, more informative. And we wanna add an aim of the article and table of contents because if you do have your blog set up right, you want your table of contents to act as, act as anchors within the blog. So, this is the first part we're gonna copy into our Webflow CMS. Let's grab the heading, pop that in the heading space and now let's go to the blog summary which we're just going to copy the first paragraph of the introduction we're going to pop that in there and now the rich text field we're going to grab everything up until below the main heading and then pop this in here now of course i'm not going to take you through how i've set this up this will be a separate tutorial if you need it hopefully you know where this information is going and you may have a slightly different setup to me what is important is the chat gpt content that we're copying in you can put this into a word doc whatever you want and supply it to your developer but i'm just going straight into webflow just to show you how quick and easy this is now you saw just there i removed the introduction text because we don't need that sometimes chat gpt isn't going to be uh, flawless so do read through the content uh, slightly just to make sure everything is correct now the amazing thing about this because of the prompts it's actually structured this within a, a mark markdown sort of way so it's got the h2 now sometimes you're gonna have to fiddle with this so obviously this shouldn't be a h2 this needs to be a h3 but it's good that it's already structured it in a way so that we can quickly and efficiently edit it even if it was just plain text it'd take a little bit too longer now the next section which is the blog section prompt we want to come back up to the outline and we want to grab section one what is chat gbt let's put that in to this section here now it's gonna use all of the information and the bullet points before to make the content within this section. And I've actually got a prompt in there that says don't repeat any information uh, that you've spoken about before so that it keeps things more informative. Now for section one, it's gonna read all of the information, look at all of the prompts, and it's gonna create a complete new section that is gonna be talking about obviously the first part of the outline of the blog. So what is ChatGPT? It's taking a little bit longer than normal. Sometimes ChatGPT will do this because obviously it depends how many people are using it at that time. But what you wanna do is wait for this to write out the content, which you can see it is doing here. Right, now that we're back, it's actually written out the content. Uh, what is absolutely great about this prompt is if you actually read through this content, like this paragraph here, it's actually written a statistic. And if you're using ChatGPT4, it will actually create hyperlinks to these statistics. But because we're using the free version, it's not doing that. But the prompts that I've written in uh, make sure that the content is obviously linking out. 
Now this is absolutely brilliant. I haven't seen other people's methods of doing this. Now again, you do need to read everything just to make sure it's right. And of course this prompt, what it's doing is it's creating a bullet point summary of each section, which is very good for structuring within your blogs. So let's copy this first section. What is ChatGBT? And let's pop this into a blog CMS. Let's check the headings. We've got, we want this to be a H2 and then we want the blog summary to be a H3. Now, obviously what you wanna do next is go through every single section of your blog outline. So number two would be boosting Webflow traffic and then pasting that into here and then copying the whole section and repeating the process so that you can get great blogs with great summaries and new statistics and everything and such like that. But we're not gonna do this. This is for you if you wanna make uh, longer content. I do suggest having at least six sections. But the next prompt we wanna do is to create a FAQ for this blog. So we're gonna create a copy in this section here and we're gonna paste that into ChatGBT. And look, it is creating some really high quality FAQs. And of course, because we've asked it to write out a load of keywords, uh, it's gonna use these within here, which is gonna boost your boost your blog's ranking. Now again, if you depending on how you've got this set up within Webflow, you might have a special FAQ section. But for here, I'm just doing it all as text, just nice and easy because we don't want to spend too much time doing this get these all as h3s now we've got our faqs which are brilliant now the last step that we need to do which is great is create the blog conclusion now this orange prompt here you want to write your conclusion yourself like i said i've only got it going to my email so let's post this back in here and look i've got uh, you can ask it to do separate sort of prompts to ask how many words you want within here and let's copy and paste this into cms let's change that as h2 get rid of conclusion and look it's had a it's got a direct link to my email right there let's get rid of this last heading because i don't want that to be structured like that now there we go We've got a blog of a decent size and like i said if you used a if you change the prompts to make it even longer you're going to have an even better blog but we have sprinkled statistics, we have sprinkled uh, keywords all throughout here and we've done it in such a way that we can create a blog that is a lot bigger and it's not uh, reproducing content and overwriting stuff that's already written, which I've seen when people are using other methods, they don't work as well. They may be getting you clicks, but the audience definitely isn't gonna be reading this. These blogs actually have some really good information in them, especially if you select a good tone of voice, it's gonna be a very interesting read. So here's the next very cool thing we can do. Now, of course, uh, we need an image. Now, if you want a free version of getting images, just go to Unsplash, type in artificial intelligence, and then download whichever image you want, and then pop that in there, obviously optimize it. But for me, what I've done is I've used Mid Journey. So I've prompted it, written artificial intelligence writer, forgive my spelling. And then it's obviously going to, once you write that in there, it's gonna come up with four options. I've selected this one here. I'm not gonna wait for it to produce because it does take a little while. And we're gonna go back to our blog and we're gonna upload the image which I've got here. Let's wait for this to upload and just double scan all of the text. Like I said, you wanna make sure you're going over the content just to make sure everything's fine. But with this process, you're gonna be making a lot higher quality artificial intelligent blogs than what everybody else is doing. And with the new uh, systems that are coming out of Google, we want to make sure these blogs are high quality because they may be penalized in the future. There is an, another process that I will be showing in the future that will make sure that your content is 100% human generated. But for this step, we're just gonna show you how to create these blogs. Right, let's publish this and then check out what a blog actually looks like. So let's delete some of these tabs. Now, as you can see here, we've got a AI generated blog with all of the content, the FAQs, everything we need, even a call to action at the top, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, this is an absolute game changer if you are a business that needs to, obviously, you're working by yourself or you don't have a team of content editors or don't have the money to obviously pay people to create content. This is gonna absolutely free yourself up. It's gonna get you more sales. It's gonna 
do what it's done for me and basically get you a lot more customers through the door because your website is going to be turned into an actual sales pitch. Uh, uh, it's going to be working passively for you to create money and wealth. So obviously check the link uh, below for the cheat sheet. If you have any questions, just email me or drop a comment below. I'd love to understand your process of using ChatGPT. Or if you just want to know how to use this a little bit better, I love speaking to you a lot. It's an absolute passion and joy uh, for me to create content like this for you. And yes, let's all work together to get the maximum amount of wealth for our business as we can because it's an amazing place we are in the world right now that we can create content like this very quickly. So thank you guys and hopefully you start smashing content as well. Speak to you soon.